The gold standard in infectious disease diagnosis is currently one to four days, but a new player in the field says they have developed a more efficient process. One of the founders of Hutman Diagnostics, Paul R. Hofer, joins me in the studio right now. Paul, first let's establish the procedure for diagnosing a whole range of viruses, bacteria, all of them associated with infectious diseases. 85% of today's diagnosis on infectious diseases is, as you've just rightly and correctly stated, done through gold standard, which is blood culture. 85%. The remaining 15% are all sorts of different kinds of technologies. What we have developed as a platform is, instead of days, one to four days, we will be able to diagnose infectious diseases within hours. This is, infectious diseases are developed through bacteria, fungi and viruses. On top of that, the doctor wants to know is a particular patient resistant to any drug. On our platform, we will detect within less than four hours, three hours, what really makes the patient sick, including telling the doctor, yes, this patient has resistances or not. Okay, so this new process, walk me through it. What does it exactly entail? It's easy and difficult at the same time. It's the so-called microarray process, a copy of a patient's bacteria, to use that example, is spotted on a microarray, goes through a machine, is then um, printed, and the scan is then through a software resulting in the result for what the doctor then gets as a readout. It sounds complicated, but in actuality it's very simple. How much does it cost to undergo this procedure? A test on a bacteria or virus for infectious diseases is around 100 pounds. We will sell ours for 200 pounds. Why will we sell it for double the price? Because we detect in one go how many different bacteria a patient may have. Give you an example for fever. There are over 40 bacteria that make you get fever. So in one test, we will be able to detect which of those 40 odd bacteria make you sick. That's why we think we should go for 200 pounds rather than just 100. Even more important is the doctor knows within hours, we call this clinically relevant, within hours what makes the patient sick, can therefore provide the patient with the appropriate antibiotics. The patient has less pain, shorter days in hospital, less cost. So ultimately what we're saying, we're saving lives and we're reducing or saving cost. Where do you plan on testing first? We will take it to the big hospitals. We, in our business plan, we are looking to place this platform in hospitals with at least a thousand beds, because that's where you have a lot of people who are sick and you want to detect as soon as possible what makes the patient sick. Ultimately, now this is years down the road, maybe five or six, we can even take it to smaller hospitals, to individual doctors, but that's, that's the big vision down the road. Now the final step will be developing a network of global partners. How do you plan on doing so? We have an exclusive uh, right or an exclusive agreement with a distributor who has well-established network around the world. So we don't build our own sales network. That would double the amount of money that we need to collect. So we've made a conscious decision. We work through a distributor. Very exciting time right now, Paul. Thank you so much for joining me for this conversation. You're very welcome.